everybody, and welcome to some very interesting Bionicle news. It feels good to be back, I gotta say. I did not expect to be back making a news video, especially not the day after we released Biocraft Chronicles, but here we are. I have some very interesting stuff to talk to you about today, though I would like to clarify something before we get too far into this video. That being, Bionicle is not coming back. Or at the very least, there isn't anything official in the pipeline yet. I don't want anyone to see this and be like, oh, is Bionicle coming back? Are there leaks? Is G3 real? Has LEGO made an announcement? No. It's nothing like that, as cool as that would be. Uh, it's nothing that cut and dry. But there is potentially something brewing, but not with LEGO right now. Uh, it's something to do with Christian Favor. And it's something that he posted yesterday on April 1st, uh, 2019, over on his Instagram page, which I'll be linking in the description below. And you can see it for yourself. Um, some clarification happened in the comments, so you'll have to read through that as well. So, Christian Faber posted this image, which, as you can see, is the letters B-I-O. And then the rest of the word is cut off with a background that looks kind of like stone with carvings. And the letters have a very technological kind of outline to them with a blue glow coming out from the O. The real interesting part was the description of the Instagram post, which is, What if there is an undiscovered way back? A secret path to reset destiny. How many of you would join? Hashtag 14B2020. This obviously led to a lot of speculation, but considering the nature of the announcement, the time that he posted it, a lot of people just were like, all right, Faber is just messing with people. And the prank is that, you know, he was trying to make us think Bionicle's coming back, but it's really not coming back, and then the day is over. But he didn't, you know, debunk it. He didn't take down the post on April 2nd. So people started posting in the comments. They were like, well, what's up with this? Um, what is exactly is this post? I even posted and was like, you know, I get you need to keep the mystique up, but could you at least tell us whether this was an April Fool's joke or if there's something to look forward to down the horizon. And he actually did reply to me, along with many others, but his reply to me gave a little bit of insight, and he says, uh, hold up, let me find the quote. Okay, here we go. Dear Tyler, I'm not working at LEGO, so I can't decide products or launches, but I know that the fans have an amazing power if we join forces. So this is a small test from my side to measure the mood. I would love to be part of a new round, and I'm trying to move into position. Who knows? He posted several other things, uh, then he replied to someone else in the thread and said, If there is a will, there's a way, and the Chronicle becomes more relevant in the coming years, with AI and robots all around. The moral of machines becomes crucial. So, right now that's where we're at. Um, here's the situation. Now, this is where the video is going to turn into generally my speculation. So if you don't want to hear that, you can take this at face, yeah, face value and you can just go ahead and leave the video and leave your own thoughts. Um, my thoughts on this is that Faber has a plan, or at the very least he has a wish to be involved in something, which I would like to point out is a first. You know, for all the people across the years in the Bionicle team who have commented on the theme's cancellation, post-mortem, not one of them has really wanted to bring it back actively. You know what I mean? Like all the great heads of Bionicle, Alistair Swinnerton, Bob Thompson, even Greg Varshti, who did remain involved with the community, I by no means want to disparage his involvement, he never tried to actively get the theme back. In fact, he adopted the wait and see approach, which has been, you know, equal parts inspirational and also gets memed a lot where it's like, you know, if Star Trek fans had decided as a group, you know, this will never come back, then it never would have come back. Uh, Greg is always about that belief that, you know, the fans carry the torch. And that's the belief I have as well. Faber here is doing something different. Faber is actively saying in the public eye, hey, I would love for this to come back. I would love to be a part of this coming back, and I'm trying to move into position. Whatever that means. You know, I'm not privy, of course, to the inner workings of LEGO, or Faber's projects, or, you know, his rebel nature thing, or any of the stuff he does, of course. 
if I had to infer a meaning behind this. Complete speculation, I would say that Faber wants Bionicle to come back. He has a vision for what that would look like. He might even have a pitch for it. And he wants to use social media to galvanize fan interest, juxtaposed with approaching LEGO and seeing what could happen. He may not have thought that far ahead. It might just be a casual post he's making where it's like, hey, I haven't forgotten about Bionicle. I'd love to do something for it. But this seems to me like he might have something in the works. I don't know. It's an exciting prospect. Now, just to reiterate, this does not mean there's anything official in the pipeline. Faber could have the best idea ever for a Bionicle G3. He could have an amazing story with great, you know, cinematic advertising campaigns, a diverse and exciting product line and a, in a plot with a deep moral and character focus that will span the test of time and redefine the genre. And Lego could say, nah, construction doesn't sell. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything with it. That is totally a possibility. Nay, it's quite probable Especially if you're into the community and you know the writing on the wall with construction, it's been, you know, phasing out for a while now. I don't magically see LEGO saying, hey, this could be profitable again, just because Faber has an idea. But, there is another angle to this, and, well, here it is. I've been a pretty vocal critic of the possibility of Bionicle coming back, ever since that one podcast episode we did where I went off on a tirade basically trying to express my thoughts to the fandom and even though a lot of people walked away from it with the my intended message i still feel to this day i didn't fully convey that as best as i could but it's, it's whatever the crux of what i was trying to get across was that i'm sick of the constant loop of let's do a bunch of online petitions to try to get bionicle back and then when it comes back lego mishandles it and then it goes away and we are all disappointed and upset. <clears throat> yeah, I said constant loop, even though it's only happened once, because it feels to me like a loop. It started off when G1 ended with petitions. They're like, let's show Lego. You know, instead of instead of spending our time as fans enriching the community we're a part of and helping Bionicle in our own way, let's devote all that time to angrily or stubbornly making petitions to try to show Lego that, you know, hey, we still care about it, bring it back, when that's not why they canceled it. If you actually think logically, and you actually look at Lego and their decision-making process, for both generations, there are reasons why they took it off shelves that are not no one likes Bionicle. You know, in the first time, sales weren't dropping drastically. They had plateaued and they were beginning to decline, and they took it off shelves so the brand name would not be tarnished beyond repair and that they could potentially retool it and relaunch it at a point in the future where it would be truly successful and not be burdened by you know all the lore that had come on before making it difficult for new people to get into the theme g2 came around and they took it off shelves almost immediately for i guess we still don't know exactly the reason it can be inferred that it was a result of cuts due to the massive amount of marketing needed for the movies at that time like there have been a lot of theories over the years that it's not that it was selling badly per se, but that LEGO was having to either downsize or focus their efforts into the sets for the LEGO Batman and Ninjago movies, and cuts had to be made in expendable areas, and love it or hate it, construction is expendable to the LEGO brand, so Bionicle may have just been an unfortunate casualty of that, rather than being abysmal on its own merits. But both times, people followed up the cancellation with petitions. Let's have Lego, you know, if we really try this, Lego will know that people like Bionicle and bring it back, but they know that. They're, that's not why they took it off shelves. They know people like Bionicle. We should be spending our time keeping the flame alive rather than constantly waiting on Lego to put it back, take it away, put it back, take it away. And I still believe that. I've said before, I don't want Bionicle back. And I'm not backing down from that belief, but it's more complex than that. It's not that I hate Bionicle and I don't want to see it back. I don't want to see it back handled improperly. I don't want to see it disrespected. I don't want to see it, you know, marginalized and downgraded for super young kids and stripped of all of its complexity. I want it to come back in a form that it can truly be its own 
thing and it can prosper on its merits. And the only reason why I'm making a video today and where I want to leave you guys with a certain thought is because if anyone can do that, it's Christian Faber. And he is the only variable that is making me go, okay, let's, let's try this. Now, I may be completely blowing his plan out of proportion, like I said earlier. Maybe he just posted that because he's nostalgic about Bionicle, and he wants to see people say, hey, yeah, I love Bionicle, I'd love to see it back. Maybe I'm right, maybe he has a plan that he's trying to implement, and he wants us to show our support. But either way, the difference between a, success, a failed petition and a successful expression of interest will be Faber's influence. It'll be the voice of someone directly involved in Bionicle's history, who's responsible for its success, stepping up to the mantle and saying, I have a vision and I want to carry it through and look at the fans behind me who are willing to support this thing. I want you guys right now while you're listening to this video, go to his Instagram, it'll be linked in the description below, and I want you to like it and I want you to comment on it. And I want you to just say, you know, I stand in support of whatever you're doing. I'd love to see Bionicle back under your leadership. Let's make it happen. Because no matter what comes of this, this could be as simple as a fan project that Faber wants to helm. But it'll be cool to support it, whatever it is, whatever he wants to do, if Faber's the one doing it. Because he's responsible for much of what we got in Bionicle's run him in advance and all those people who made the decisions up high who were involved in marketing and promotion and those cool commercials as well as the, the initial idea behind Bionicle he's the architect of the entire Bionicle world he may not have been solely responsible for the idea but he was definitely responsible for parts of it and uh, I'm really interested in seeing what he does with this if anything but he wants us to, he wants our support he wants to have the Bionicle community you know get behind him I say let's give it to him, even if it amounts to nothing. What does it hurt to try? So please go over to his Instagram and just give him some positive reinforcement. And yeah, thank you all very much for listening to this. Uh, that's pretty much all I can leave you at until we know more, until he says anything. Hopefully he elaborates more in the future. But I guess it all depends on the reception this post gets. And can I also say I love the logo? Part of the reason I'm so passionate about this is I want to see the full version of that cool logo because the B is like a three, which would stand for G3, and I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for stuff like that. I love it to death. And also, the hashtag he said, 14B2020. Well, first of all, I don't know why he said 2020. If this isn't an actual planned Lego theme, there's no chance of this coming out in 2020. Maybe he has a project that'll launch in 2020, I don't know. Either way, the 14, I wondered what that could possibly be. But if you count 2001 through 2010, 2011 where the story serials were partially running, and then the two years for G2, that makes a total of 13 years that Bionicle ran for. So I believe what he's referring to is this would be the 14th year. Which I find, again, super cool. So yes, please go check out this post and let him know that the Bionicle community stands with him. That's pretty much all I got for you today. Hopefully I get to talk to you again about this. But I guess it all depends on which route this whole thing takes. But uh, yeah, I'm Meso. And please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Or head over to the TTV message board. It's board.ttvchannel.com. And I'll see y'all in the community. Have a great one.